That's how we'll line them up for heat race number one, just like the midgets. Eight laps, the top 16 will be locked in. And here we go, looking for the green flag. Green flag flies, it is race time. And the inside of row number one, paying dividends, Luke Moroni out of Taylorville, Illinois will lead lap number one. Zach Taylor with the brand new Bailey house car. Riding in second, Jeremy Camp in third, Gunnar Ramey racing in fourth, and racing in fifth now, that is Chad Bowen in car number 5B. Luke Berardi stretching it out now. Zach Taylor holding on to the second position. Jeremy Camp is third. Gunnar Ramey racing in fourth. And Chad Baldwin in fifth. Tony Clifton rides in sixth. Kirk Westerfield seventh. And Clayton Duff rounding out your field in the eighth position. White flag is out. One more time around. The 28 of Luke Berardi, and it's going to be Luke Berardi taking the win. Zach Taylor comes across in second, Jeremy Camp in third. And here he comes, out of turn number four, green flag five. Keep an eye on the 71S of Austin Schaefer. He has been a terror. He's won two of the four micro features so far this year. Leading lap number one to 42 of Emerson Axum. Moving up into second now. That is the 38 of Jackson Frisbee. Racing in third, Garrett Duff in the number four. Riley Goodno rides in fourth in car number 11. And racing in fifth, Austin Schaefer in car number 71S. And Austin Schaefer now will move up one spot. He now in fourth position. White flag coming out this time by for the number 42 of Emerson Axel. And it's going to be the 42 of Emerson Axel getting his first checkered flag in Power Eye competition. And here we go. Green flag flies once again. And it's the 18-year-old young lady out of Jacksonville, Illinois. Bailey Logue, she will come around and lead lap number one. Here comes the 11-year-old now. The 55 of Charlie Keevan, and he will take the point. Charlie Keevan, he now is your race leader. Jordan Howe out of Columbia, Missouri, riding in the second position, racing in third. Trevin Littleton, fourth is Bailey Logan, and fifth now is Daniel Robinson. Those are your top five as we come around to complete lap number four this time by. Your lead at three cars that separated herself from the rest of the field. The 11 year old Charlie Cleveland, Cleveland rather, continues to lead the way. Side by side battle out of turn two. Jordan Howe now. Challenging for the lead, and it's going to be Jordan Howe taking the point. 
Trevin Littleton will move up to take the second spot. And it's gonna be Jordan Howell taking the win. And the green flag flies. The final heat for the Power Eye Micro Sprints presented by Bailey Chassis Company. Michael Brummett, he is your leader, but here comes Joe B. Miller. And it's gonna be Joe B. Miller. Moving up to second, Jacob Tipton slipping back to third. Tyler Day rides in fourth. And Rowdy right got your top five. That is Molly Day in car number 17. Not a very good performance for Brian Paver in the old five. We do have a new leader. Joe B. Miller out in front. Five laps are down, working. Lap number six this time. White flag coming out one more time around for the 51B of Joe B. Miller. And ladies and gentlemen, there's your winner of the fifth and final heat race, Joe B. Miller. Michael Brummett will come across in second, Tyler Day is third, Molly Day fourth, Jacob Tipton in fifth, Brian Paver will round out your field in sixth, and seventh, Brent Pemberton. Correction, that is 10 laps for the semi. Here we go, green flag flies. And coming around to lead lap number one, that is the Knoxville, Iowa driver, Riley Goodno. Daniel Robinson riding in second. And racing in third, that is Tony Clifton. Ryan Mueller, one spot out of the transfer now. Making two spots as a Chad Baldwin will move up and take the final transfer position now. Number 3G of Garrett Williamson done for the night. Well, your lead three cars pulling away from the rest of the field. And the yellow coming out for the number 99 of Daniel Robinson. Flies once again. Here we go. Good side by side racing right now. The battle for fifth and sixth. Ryan Mueller into 33M. Tyler Duff in car number 19. And here comes Gabe Ferrari now. Moving up right behind the third place car of Chad Baldwin. Tyler Duff now up to fifth. Ryan Mueller racing in sixth as the white flag flies. We got one lap to go. And taking the win is Riley Goodno. I love this place. Looking for the green flag once again. There it is, and here we go. And Gunnar Ramey on the loud pedal. He leads them down the back straight away in car number 28. Gunnar Ramey out of Sedalia, Missouri. He'll lead lap number one. Sam Johnson riding in second, but here comes racing Jason Baby Bumper Harms in car number 52. Three wide for the lead. And Sam Johnson will spin it around. 
right in front of the field, as well as Gunnar Ramey in car number 28. Two laps are completed. Looking for the green flag, and there it is. year old out of Lincoln, California. He is your new leader now. Jason Harms riding in second, but look at the battle we got for the final transfer. Here comes Garrett Duff in car number four. And the yellow flag flies. Two cars getting together. It's a pair of number ones, Kalen Hunt and Clayton Duff. 72 and fourth is the four of Garrett Duff. Here they come and here we go. And Jason Harms, your race leader, our second place driver, laying over on his side up in turn number four. So we will stay yellow. Once so again, here we go. Six laps now in the book. Working lap number seven this time by is Blake Carrick out in front. Greg Turner racing in second. Garrett Duff now up into the final transfer position. Gunnar Ramey is currently riding in fourth, making another run back toward the front. White flag coming out this time by for Blake Carrick in car number 37. And it's going to be the 79 of Blake Carrick getting the win. Or the 37. Yellow light is turned off. Here we go. Looking for the green. There it is. And it's race time. Whoa! What in trouble. And he keeps it going. Oh my God. Greg Turner driving the Woody chassis car number 72. Wow. That's a bad crash that didn't happen. But it's Joe B. Miller out in front. Looking for his 32nd career win, his second of the 2018 season. Harley Holland riding in second. Trevor Littleton racing in third now and racing in that fourth position. Jordan Howell at sixth is Jackson Frisbee, car number 38. Joel B. Miller, way up high, utilizing the high groove, and he's passing car after car. Littleton in car number 44 
He's currently racing in third, but that boulder is missing out lap after lap. But the caution will fly for the number 11 of Riley Goodno. She started deep in the field, and she is now up to 10th position. As Joby Miller sets sail once again. Gunner Ramey, e car number 28 out of Sedalia, Missouri. He is up to third. And Joel B. Miller slowing down because of the caution, because we have two cars getting together up in turn number four. And here comes Joel B. Miller and the freight train of micro sprints of Power Eyes. Green flag flies, here we go. Trevor Littleton slipping back into field now. That missing engine is starting to lose power. I'll tell you one car not losing power, and that is the 51B of Joe B. Miller. started in the 14th position and she is now racing in six. Eighteen laps are now down. Eighteen laps are completed. It's all JPL. White flag is out. One more time around for Joby Miller. Joby Miller picking up his 32nd career victory. Harley Holland will come across in second, and Jordan Howell comes across in third. Joby Miller getting the accolades from his father, Rick. Well, it's going to take him a while to get that 6-8 uh, frame up through the cockpit. <laughs> but there he is, Joe B. Miller. Well, we get Joe B. around here. Yeah, look presentable, buddy. <laughs> well, for the 32nd time, here you are in Victory Lane. Yeah, it was a good run. Um, Got to thank Lance and Derek. We worked our butt off on this thing. It just wasn't good. Last night, they changed motors in the middle of the night. Um, we got it going. We went through the whole car. Got it Got it rolling good today. And I uh, got to thank them. Tough break in the midget. Had a fly right rear. But uh, got to thank God. I've been very blessed. Um, thank everyone that helps. You know, Lewis Trucking, Ely Transportation, uh, Lightning Wings. I'm sure I'm missing a few, speed shack performance, but uh, CMO services, Warner Enterprises, not all of them, it wouldn't be possible. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he enjoys your hand clap. Let him hear you. Come here, veteran. Proud of you, girl. Harley Holland, second place finish, not a bad job. Oh, we'll take that. We haven't had much luck here in the past, so we're starting to figure it out a little bit. Oh, yeah, it's starting to come around. Yeah, it's still got a long way to go to catch Joe B, but we had a good night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give him a big round of applause. Harley Holland coming across, and Jordan Howe 
finished in third, and he's gone. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, on behalf of Power Eye Racing, we thank you so much for coming out, spending some of your hard-earned money. Still got the Hornet feature to go. One more round of applause for Jordan Howell for finishing in third. This young man, <laughs> Harley Holland, for coming across in second. And Joel B. Miller getting the win here at Macon. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. The Hornet feature coming up now.